Hi guys, this is Chris of KVM Design, an online firm that supports interior designers worldwide with their workload. Uh, by delegating to us, the designers can nail their deadlines, increase the quality of their work, uh, free up some time to work on their business rather than in it. And as a result, they can scale their business because they have more time uh, to take on more projects. They don't have to work harder. They just have to work smarter. And as a result, they can build the business and the life that they want. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, uh, I recommend that you do. We post a lot of tips uh, about becoming an entrepreneur, stepping into your CEO role, how to be better organized. So I help you with systems and processes, with mindset, which is essential. I give you tips about delegating and working with an online team uh, and much more. So we post a video every Thursday. If you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. So today I want to do a quick tutorial about ClickUp. I've mentioned in other videos that I really like ClickUp as a project management tool. I use it with all my clients. I use it with my team. I use it for everything that needs to happen in my business. Um, and I, I find that it's a great tool uh, to use to share tasks with your clients, but also with your team. So there are a few things that I want to talk about today. Um, well, basically how I use it with my clients, how I use it with my team. I also want to talk to you about st statuses and how to change them, how you share lists, that's what I was talking about. And um, yeah, talk a little bit about the calendar view. So here, as you can see, I created a workspace cl called Clients. And I have a folder here called Current Clients. Then I have an archive with previous project, but these are the current clients. So basically for any list, you can share that full list, so you can create different views. Uh, list, the board view is what I like because then it's clear for the client um, that they can add tasks in the to-do. Then we move it to doing when we're working on it, and then we can submit it for review. Uh, but basically what you would be doing to share with a client or a contractor or anyone in your team, you just have um, to invite them by name or email. Um, and yeah, you can just type their name here. If they're already in ClickUp, you will be able to invite them directly. Otherwise you can type their uh, email. And then see that this list is private. It's private because I don't want everybody in my ClickUp to be able to see this list. It should just be my operation manager, uh, project manager and the client. So this list is just shared with the people uh, relating to that project or that client. So this is for the sharing now the other thing is that these are my statuses so time tracking to do doing submitted for review archive the way to change them uh, is here list statuses so you can add custom and then you can edit you can edit your um, your statuses to match whatever way you like to work so it's very user friendly very easy to change um, and yeah you can just do it whatever works best for you. You can change the views, which is really cool in ClickUp. Uh, so if you want, uh, you have a list view, you have a calendar view to know when projects are due. I think this client is not actually current current, so there's nothing in April, uh, but you would be able to see by, depending on the due date, you would be able to see in the calendar view when the, the, the tasks are due. There's a timeline view. There's many types of different views. They've just added a chat as well, which means that you can speak directly with the people in um, that list uh, about the project. So there's, it's a chat like WhatsApp. So what else? So then, as I said, my the designer who is being assigned the work, so the task, needs to be able to see the project uh, and we don't want to have to duplicate. So there is one thing, so let me show you the difference. Here we have a card. I want my designer to be able to see this project. So here you have uh, an option to duplicate and then you would be able to add that card into the designer, what is the designer? Oh, it's the wrong. Okay, so you would be able to change to space to team and then choose the team member that you want to share that task with so they can do the work. 
I used to do that. And the reason why it's not good is because every time the client adds a comment about the work, so she gives feedback, then we have to manually add that feedback into the designer's um, card. So the way that we've been doing it, as you can see here, you can add to other lists, add tasks to another list. So Sophia got the project and she has been, a, um, she's basically sharing the same card as the client. So it means that every time Heather sends a comment on the card, Sophia would get the comment and she would be able to do the changes based on the newest comment. She doesn't have to wait for us um, to send her feedback. She can also see any additional attachments added to the card. Uh, she sees everything that's happening. So that's why it's very important. Um, it's very important that you decide what way is going to work best for you, your clients, and your team. And you can add it to as many lists as you want, which is great. So I could uh, also put it in my project managers um, list so that everybody has the same card and everybody shares the same card. So any changes made to the card, everybody will be able to see it, even though they're not in the same uh, list. Because this is for my client to add her tasks. Um, uh, dashboard is clients, the space, sorry, it's not a dashboard, it's a space, it's called clients. Then I have a folder called current clients and then each client is a list. And the reason why I've been doing it like this is because when I click on current clients, so the entire folder without going into a list specifically, then I'm going to see the calendar for all the clients and I will know for each day, all the deadlines that we have for the entire team. So for all my clients, these are the, the ongoing projects. And I only have to click on the general folder to have this general view, which has been amazing because you can go into specifics, but every day you don't want to have into each list to know when the due dates are. So it automatically adds all the projects to this calendar. And this is why it's been, I've been able to do it this way is because Instead of having one folder per client, I have a general folder and then I have a list for each client. So this is very important. Um, and you can do that as well. So on my, on my team, it's exactly the same. I have a space for my team. And then if I go into the designers folder, I should have the calendar with all the tasks that everybody has been doing. Here we go. So you can see that they've been sharing the same list. So it gets automatically added to the right designer. And then everything, if my client was to change a due date, it would change in the designer's folder as well. And I do that for everything. So even my own calendar, I have four different calendars. I have a calendar for everything that's related to the company. I have a calendar for personal, for the Facebook group, for the mentoring. So when I click on the, on the general calendar, I see all the tasks for all the calendars. That's loading one second. It's pretty full actually. So it's just taking its sweet time. So you see everything mixed, personal, KVM, um, Facebook group. But if I only click on one list, then I only have the tasks relating to that specific list. So that's all the tasks relating to the Facebook group are going to show and none of the others are going to show. So it ensures that everything is clear. It's easy for you to get organized. You can have the big picture or you can see things individually, uh, but you don't have to do everything manually. And when you're a business owner, you want to make sure that it's as easy as possible, uh, that you can automate as much as possible because your time and energy are limited. That's a fact. So we want to work smarter at all the time. We don't want to work harder. So I hope this was helpful. If you want more tutorials about ClickUp, please let me know. I want to do a series about ClickUp because I love it so much as a project management tool. So please comment below and tell me what you want to see next. Bye, see you in the next video.